Reach for the Sky. Spiking Bits. Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and today we're gonna take a look at some armature upgrades from Iron Wolf Minis. Now we've shown you a couple of times already this stuff. We've shown it to you in 3D printed uh, material from Shapeways, but now we're gonna show it to you from Iron Wolf Miniatures. And they're the ones that took all those dope designs from Gadgets Plus, cast them in resin, better quality stuff, easier to work with, and you know, no print lines obviously, but uh, great looking stuff. Key is here super cheaper like half the price on a lot of the kits and the bundles are even more cheaper than they were over on shapeway so it's definitely worth talking about i don't want to spend a whole lot of time on it but i've been using this stuff myself over the years and i'm a little jelly of these <laughs> these resin upgrades they look so good and i'm like dang oh well it is what it is so let's get started so again one more time iron wolf minis Dot com. Here it is. You can select your currency. Don't have to worry about getting dinged to check out on some crazy uh, conversion mumbo jumbo. And they've got the conversion kits, which you can browse through right here. And then, of course, they got it broken down by Quest Doors compatible, uh, Dominus compatible, and Armager compatible. I don't have any of the Dominus stuff to show you, unfortunately, but they got some pretty cool stuff there. Today, we're going to talk about uh, specifically the Armagers. So I painted one of these guys in the past. I think I showed it to you in a previous video. Armadillo Carapace, I actually painted some up here in the studio with the rotary guns, which I think are a great value when you consider that, you know, a lot of folks have the ones with the close combat weapons, and then maybe you just want to pick up these bits a la carte, which are great because they're only nine bucks each. I think they were like $18 each in the 3D uh, material printed out from Shapeways, which is a great value. So we'll should kind of show you all that. And like I said, you can buy all the stuff a la carte. Like if you just want the feats, you know, for some conversion projects or just a head or something like that, or just the pads, they got it all right here too. You know, maybe you already glued your head down, you know, whatever, you just pick up the pads or, or something like that. Or you want two of these pads instead of one, hey, they got you covered too. You just don't really know until, you know, you just kind of look through the site and see all the different stuff they offer. Now back to the painted armature that we did here, I just wanted to show you a couple of things real quick and why resin is so dope. So you can see all the plastic parts here that are nice and smooth and everything like that. And then when you get to the 3D printed stuff, now this is like a hundred, not a hundred times, but like three, four, I don't even know. I would say like four times bigger than actual size because this almost looks like it's a full size knight. So you're not going to see these little striations in with the printer lines from the naked eye or from three feet away or even maybe a foot away. But when you go to paint it, you will notice it, right? And there's, you know, there's a little bit of that graininess too on uh, the barrels of the cannons right here. But what I'm going to show you for the cast resin pieces, well, they're pretty much perfect as far as I can tell. So they definitely got that going for them and they're like half the price too. So one of the cool things that I think is, is pretty uh, underrated from Iron Wolf Minis is the fact that everything kind of comes in like custom packaging to give you that really cool out of box experience. There's a little thank you card with some uh, silver foil on it and the, how you can get your miniatures uh, featured on their platforms and such. Uh, three inch sticker, which is, which is really cool. A little die cut action right there. But probably the coolest feature, uh, if, if all that wasn't enough, is the fact that it comes uh, some of them, you know, your order will come in one of these uh, little pouches that you can use as a dice bag and stuff later on too, which I think is pretty cool and it's a very, very nice touch uh, that you really don't see anywhere uh, out there in the, the hobby kind of world side of things. So it's a, it's just one more reason to go over to Iron Wolf Minis and pick up the upgrades from there, uh, besides the fact that they're a lot cheaper than Shapeways. Here is that armature from a few minutes ago, and like I said, at normal size, you really can't see any of those print lines or anything, but once you start kind of getting closer to it and, and things, you can start kind of start seeing it, and obviously you'll notice it when you're painting, but I did all this without without a hitch, you know, combination of airbrush and the brush and some washes. Actually, did I wash this? Yes, I pin washed. Uh, this area is right here. So it was pretty dope. It, it went off on a hitch. Now here's the resin versions of that. And you can see that the barrels are 100% clear and very, very nice. And then you've got the areas right here with the little optional, or well not optional, you, you definitely need these to attach to the joints or to put a magnet in there like I did with these. I think it, I want to say it was a quarter inch, but it might've been three sixteenths 
it's really ah, that looks like quarter inch we'll go with quarter inch and then they'll attach right there and definitely look cool and these make great um counts as for you know the the helvern weapons they're not quite as long but I, you know everything is we're not measured from the barrels anymore so i don't feel like there's any problem with that you could also say they're the laslocks because they have like laser sights right there if you wanted to with the our armager moraxes and then here's some of the other upgrade parts too so we've got the the shoulder pads uh the armadillo plating right there and uh the little wolf head too which is pretty nice and then there's the uh what is this thing the i guess it's like the frost cannon you can use it as the melta or something like that really nice uh, very solid detail work right there and then all the venting and everything and then the, the part right there to attach the magnets and such and then here's the uh here's a close look at the armadillo i pulled the other one off and it's very hard to see again the print lines from the 3d printed ones but it's a a lot smoother overall that you can see right there in the resin cast one so i think resin is definitely the way to go uh, not just for the material but also for the discount and price and just the, the cool accessories you get a dice bag i mean <laughs> hey order bits free dice bag i mean what what else can you say right there that's it video over <laughs> uh no thank you very much for watching make sure you head on over to iron wolf miniatures because they're going to start stocking more and more of this stuff from uh gadgets plus from the shapeway site into the resin cast into their store so when you're seeing this Obviously, there might not be quite as much, but there's still a pretty good volume of uh, material over there and products. But as they get going and build up over the next, you know, five years or so, there's going to be a lot more uh, items in there. So make sure you check it out. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our other videos.